In this video, you will learn how to find the exact values of circular functions. To find the values of circular functions of a given angle theta, use the coordinates of the terminal point of the angle on the unit circle. Let us begin with quadrantal angles. This figure shows the points of intersection of the terminal sides of 0, pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2 with the unit circle. Using this figure, we can determine the exact values of the circular functions of quadrantal angles. If the terminal side of an angle in standard position coincides with one of the axes such as 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, or 360 degrees, it is called a quadrant angle. Let us use the definition of the trigonometric functions of angle in a standard position given the coordinates of its terminal point on the unit circle. Let P of theta equals x comma y be the coordinates of the terminal point of theta on the unit circle. Then we define the six circular functions of theta as follows. Sine theta equals y, cosine theta equals x, tangent theta equals y over x, and x is not equal to zero, cotangent theta equals x over y, secant theta equals 1 over x, and cosecant theta equals 1 over y. Example 1. Find the exact values of the circular functions of the quadrantal angle theta equals 3 pi over 2. Locate 3 pi over 2 on the unit circle and identify the coordinates of its terminal point. Point 3 pi over 2 equals 0, comma, negative 1. The x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate negative 1. Let us use the definition of the six circular functions of theta. Sine 3 pi over 2 equals y. And y is equal to negative 1. Cosine 3 pi over 2 equals x. And x is equal to 0. Tangent 3 pi over 2 equals y over x. It is equal to negative 1 over 0. And negative 1 over 0 is undefined. Cotangent 3 pi over 2 equals 0 over negative 1 is 0. Second, 3 pi over 2 equals 1 over x. 1 over 0 is undefined. Cosecant 3 pi over 2 equals 1 over y. It is equal to 1 over negative 1 and equal to negative 1. Example 2. Find the exact values of the circular functions of the quadrantal angle theta equals negative 3 pi. Locate negative 3 pi on the unit circle and identify the coordinates of its terminal point. Recall that one complete rotation is equivalent to 2 pi and another half circle will make it 3 pi. Since the given value is negative, the direction is clockwise. Point negative 3 pi equals negative 1 comma 0. Use the definition of the six circular functions of theta. Sine negative 3 pi is equal to y. y is equal to 0. Cosine negative 3 pi equals x. It is equal to negative 1. Tangent negative 3 pi equals y over x. Negative 1 over 0 is undefined. Cotangent negative 3 pi equals, it is equal to 0. Second negative 3 pi is equal to negative 1. Cosecant negative 3 pi equals 1 over 0. It is undefined. Example 3. Find the exact value of sine 5 pi over 4. First step, convert 5 pi 
over 4 degree measure, 5 pi over 4 times 180 degrees over pi, cancel pi, it is equal to 225 degrees. Next, determine the quadrant where the terminal side of the given angle lies. Observe that 225 degrees or 5, 5 pi over 4 is located in quadrant 3. Therefore, the x and y coordinates are both negative. Then, find the reference angle of 5 pi over 4. 225 degrees minus 180 degrees equals 45 degrees or pi over 4. Determine the coordinates of the terminal point of 5 pi over 4. Recall that point pi over 4 is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2 comma negative square root of 2 over 2. Since 5 pi over 4 is in quadrant 3, point 5 pi over 4 equals negative square root of 2 over 2 comma negative square root of 2 over 2. Therefore, sine theta equals negative square root of 2 over 2. Example 4. Determine the exact value of tangent negative 11 pi over 6. The first step again is to convert negative 11 pi over 6 to degree measure. Negative 11 pi over 6 times 180 degrees over pi equals negative 330 degrees. Then determine the quadrant where the terminal side of the given angle lies. Observe that negative 330 degrees or negative 11 pi over 6 is located in quadrant 1. Therefore, the x and y coordinates are both positive. Then find the reference angle of negative 11 pi over 6. Negative 330 degrees plus 360 degrees equals 30 degrees or pi over 6. Step 4. Determine the coordinates of the terminal point of negative 11 pi over 6. Tangent negative 11 pi over 6 equals negative 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. And the final answer is square root of 3 over 3. Example 5. Determine the exact value of secant 2 pi over 3. Convert 2 pi over 3 to degree measure. 2 pi over 3 times 180 degrees over pi equals 120 degrees. Determine the quadrant where the terminal side of the given angle lies. Observe that 120 degrees or 2 pi over 3 is located in quadrant 2. Therefore, the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive. Then find the reference angle of 2 pi over 3. 180 degrees plus 120 degrees equals 60 degrees or pi over 3. Then, step 4, determine the coordinates of the terminal point of 2 pi over 3. Secant theta equals 1 over x. Point 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, secant 2 pi over 3 equals negative 2. Determine the exact value of cosecant 11 pi over 4. Change 11 pi over 4 to degree measure. 11 pi over 4 times 180 degrees equals 495 degrees. Find an angle coterminal to 495 degrees and the quadrant where the terminal side of the given angle lies. 495 degrees minus 360 degrees equals 135 degrees. Observe that 135 degrees is located in quadrant 2. The x-coordinate is negative and the y-coordinate is positive. Step 3, find the reference angle of 135 degrees. 180 degrees minus 135 degrees equals 45 
degrees. And to determine the coordinates of the terminal point of 11 pi over 4, cosecant theta equals 1 over y. Therefore, cosecant 11 pi over 4 equals the square root of 2. In order to easily remember the coordinates of quadrantal angles as well as special angles, always consider the unit circle which has a radius of 1. The sign of the coordinates will depend on the quadrant where the terminal side of the given angle lies.